Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So this is my packing video for my first backpacking trip of 2022. I have said this so many times, but I have been waiting over two years to get myself traveling again and it is actually happening like i still can't believe it so basically i am just going to be showing you everything i am taking with me on this trip i don't have the most extensive knowledge about backpacking and everything but i did pick up a lot on my travels across australia i worked out what i needed what i didn't really need i did take a bit too much maybe when i went to australia and so i really wanted to channel minimalist vibes when packing this time I don't know. As always, definitely like this video if you enjoy it and if you want to save this video for later then make sure you do that and yeah comment down below if I have missed anything or if you recommend anything yourself and yeah subscribe if you are new and you want to come along. It's gonna be so good. My upload schedule is also gonna be a bit off so like hitting the notification bell as well will be useful. I just thought I would start by showing you guys the bags that I will be putting everything into basically my whole life into these bags and yeah so this is my rucksack from like over two years ago when i first went backpacking i am using the same rucksack osprey fairview trek 70 it is still in perfect condition basically this is so light i wish it was this light but it's not going to be that light it comes with a cover which is so useful to put over the bag to like protect it when it's going on the airplane. You can like send it off in its own little carrying case, which I think is really good. So this is my checked luggage. And then this is my hand luggage bag or like my day rucksack. Again, it is my one from Australia. It has all of my Australia pins on it still, which is so good. And it is the daylight. It can clip onto this rucksack, but usually I just carry it like this. We kind of look like this. And they're obviously like protruding out a bit because they will be filled. The only thing that happened in Australia was I had these random mysterious holes that were acquired on Fraser Island. Still don't know how that happened, what animal decided to chew through my bag and try and get to my food, um, probably. So this bag, this bag, and then thirdly, I have my bum bag, which was mum's, it is now mine because she didn't want it back after I came home from solo traveling in Australia. I don't really know what brand it is, but it has three pockets. It has like a front one, it has a main pocket, and then it does actually have one hidden at the back as well, which is useful. And the last thing before I get into like everything I'm actually packing, I wanted to mention packing cubes because I could not recommend these things enough for like traveling and backpacking. But even if you're just going on holiday, like I would recommend them to organize your stuff. So I'm using the same ones again from Australia. They are Savisto. They are just these black packing cubes. This is my one with my pajamas in. I think one of them has a tiny hole in. But other than that, they're all really good. The zips haven't broken. I will leave as many product links down below as possible, but I believe you've got six different sizes. That's the really big one. That's the really tiny one. Then you have two of this size and then two of that size, basically. So with my actual packing list, I have split it up into different sections to help me out and hopefully it will help you guys out. So the first section I have called non-negotiable items. I think these are essential when you are traveling. Firstly, obviously you need your passport. I have mine in this, which I really don't like. It's not me at all, this like case thing, but I've had it for a long time. And in this wallet thing, which is kind of useful, even though I don't like it, I have my cards that I will be using to spend money with whilst I'm away traveling. The second thing is a travel adapter. Now, obviously plug sockets are different everywhere in the world. So I just bought a universal travel adapter that you can use in loads of different countries with loads of different pins and plug sockets and holes. It looks kind of complex, but it does the job. The next thing is something really tiny that you can often forget about. So I will be taking with me a SIM pin so I can just like take out my SIM and replace it with the SIM I am using in the country. The next thing is a padlock. I think it's really essential to take one because if you're staying in hostels, then there will be lockers and you can therefore lock away your stuff and keep everything safe. As we are still living through a pandemic, face masks are also essential. So I'll be taking like three or four with me. These are my glasses that I will be taking with me. And then I also have my contact lenses. Other things that I think are essential, sanitizer, water bottles. I'll be taking two with me. I don't know which ones yet because I have so many, but I'll just take like two 500 ml water bottles with me or something. Sun cream for me is an essential item, especially in hot countries but you should really be wearing it 
wherever you go like even in the uk i use sun balm i discovered this when i went traveling in australia i got spf 50 it's reef safe vegan cruelty free the packaging isn't recyclable at this point but i just really like the brand and the final thing that i think is an essential item is a panic button to be honest with you this one is not the best it's really bulky i don't like the velcro it's quite cheap and i actually need to check this still works and the batteries are still alive in there but i think it's an essential item i even carry this around with me in the uk i just have it in my pocket i don't often wear it on my wrist but i will have it on me if you're like male or female i would like recommend you get one especially if you're on your own the next section i have then called non-essential but highly recommended items so the first is an extension lead and the reason why i think these are so useful is because often again in hostels or in like accommodation where you're staying there will only be one plug socket then having an extension lead is literally a game changer because you just plug it in and you have multiple plug sockets it can be erased to the plug socket sometimes and if you have an extension lead people will love you you will make so many friends if you have an extension lead the next one is a bum bag which i showed you guys before but i think having a bum bag is so good i'm not sure if i'm taking this with me this time but i wrote down travel pillow i got one when i went to australia i was camping in australia and that's when it was so useful but you can use it on like the plane on the flight as i said though i'm not sure if i'm taking it this time but I think it's something to consider. I know you have a torch on your phone or most phones have torches these days, but what happens if your phone dies? And it also saves the battery on your phone. Say if you are camping, like having a torch is really good. A notepad is another thing that I would strongly recommend because you know, if you just want to journal or document your thoughts or make a note of something really quickly, yes, again, you have your phone, but sometimes it's really nice just to have a notepad and then obviously a pen. Eye mask and earplugs. I think they're really great for like, you know, on the plane, if you're in a hostel and people are snoring or if people still have the lights on. The next thing is a lunchbox, which kind of sounds really strange. We're not going to school, but I have a collapsible lunchbox. It's so good, it takes up very little space. And then I also have cutlery alongside that. And now with cutlery, I would be very careful because if you have this in your hand luggage, don't take the knife. Like I have a knife, fork and spoon set if i am going to put that in my hand luggage i will take out the knife because it will get flagged in security and i have lost my knife in my sets before because i forgot about that but if it's in your main luggage like your checked baggage i think it's okay this little thing is my luggage label it does actually match my um passport thing you will have seen though before i did have a ribbon a pink ribbon on my rucksack as well that just helps me to identify my luggage because you know people might have like similar bags and stuff lastly then i think it's really useful to take a microfiber towel instead of a normal towel so i am taking two microfiber towels one of them feels a bit more like a towel. It's by Trespass. It's like a bamboo one. And then the other is by this monster brand. I got an orange one and that feels like a microfiber towel. So it's more fleece-like and it dries faster than the other one. I haven't packed everything fully yet, but these are my two like bags that I will put my beauty and toiletry stuff into this is my little banana one which is so cute it's from the body shop i have a hairbrush even though i don't brush my hair when it's dry i'm just gonna take this anyway it's like a travel size tangle teaser and it has a little cover on it other hair stuff i'll have hair bobbles my scrunchie some grips kirby grips whatever you want to call them bobby pens i don't know i then have my silk hair bonnet which i sleep with to protect my curls I got that from Etsy and then I have a big baggy t-shirt which is kind of random but I use this to plop and for me it's really quite important if I want to like do my hair and have like nice curls. I don't know if I'm going to have the time to do this when I'm traveling but I'm going to take it anyway because it helps to dry my hair. I don't use a towel because otherwise it just goes frizzy. This is my menstrual cup, Mary the menstrual cup. I do then just have some sanitary pads some like panty liners and stuff this is my last swab cotton bud thing so instead of taking cotton buds and throwing them away i just have a zero waste reusable one which is so good i haven't packed any of my like toothbrushes toothpaste retainers retainer case floss and stuff like that but i will have like standard toiletries i will though mention my new mouthwash tablets which i got from this brand called brushed and i wanted to find some that were really minty because i don't like peppermint and spearmint 
So these, oh my gosh, wow, that's so minty. This jar is a bit too large and I don't need this many. So I'm going to transfer some into a lip balm container, which I've just kept and saved. This is a moisturizer. It has SPF 30 in it as well. And then I have a lip balm with SPF in it. I was also then sent this very recently. I got it yesterday. It's by Nude. It's like an armpit thing deodorant i'm gonna try it before i go but this is so tiny it's so light it's not even plastic and apparently it like lasts a really long time if you apply it to your armpits so i'm gonna try it test it out but i think i'm gonna be using this this is my electric razor it is wireless cordless you just have to charge it but because of laser hair removal i won't have to be using this that much which is so good aloe vera gel is something i have on my list and i have ready to pack because if i do get sunburnt hopefully i won't aloe vera gel is really good to like help relieve the pain and the soreness in terms of makeup i think i'm literally going to be taking my eyebrow gel eyelash curlers and maybe mascara the final thing i'll say here is that this is a like food tupperware container yes i am aware of that but i'm not using it for food i'm basically using it to take my shampoo bar conditioner bar and my soap bar with me and this brand sistema that makes tupperware this is like one of the best brands for tupperware because the clips and the locks on these things are so good like i took a soap dish to australia and it was so bad everything just leaked everywhere and i had to put it in a plastic bag which completely defeated the object of having the soap dish as i said i'll just put my soap in here which i have as a bar and then also my shampoo and conditioner bars which i got from ethique i was so happy to find them because they are curly girl approved vegan cruelty free they're bars so it's like zero waste. I will probably chop up the bars. I won't take the whole thing. The curliosity one is like the vibrant blue one. And then the greeny one is the shampoo. The next section is food slash health. Yeah. In this section then we have lateral flow tests. So I'm just going to take some antigen tests from home. I'll then be taking my supplements. So I'll probably just be taking a multivitamin when I'm out there. And my B12 just to make sure i'm like getting enough of everything these are sea sickness bands which i got for australia but i kind of conquered my fear in australia so i don't think i'll be needing them we have some plasters packed in here and i do have some what is this is this paracetamol is this in date if you have a bit of a headache or something you know i have a bug spray and i have a bite stick i then bought some vegan rehydration tablets so they're basically the equivalent of hydrolyte which i used in australia after i went to hospital because i had hyponatremia so yeah i am going to a hot country i'm going to be sweating a lot if i am going to be doing some running i want to be making sure i am replenishing my electrolytes i think there's everything in this thing yep 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 i and then just finally some snack food stuff so like bars nuts seeds some fruit maybe for on the plane just some non-perishable items if you're going to be keeping it in your rucksack the next section is clothing slash shoes and yeah i am just so happy for this trip i didn't have to buy any new clothes which to some people sounds really boring but to me that's like a huge achievement you know i don't want to over consume and the fact that i haven't had to buy any new clothes is just the best thing so i'm taking my black and white elephant travel trousers i'm then just taking one pair of tracksuit bottoms which i will wear on the flight i then have two pairs of like half gym leggings or three quarters whatever you want to call them and then taking my yellow shorts which i got in australia these are my denim shorts they have like an elasticated waist they're actually really light for denim shorts i have then one other pair of like nice shorts they're like black with a waistband i have four pairs of like active wear shorts i have a navy blue pair i have a black nike pair and then my gymshark orange shorts all of those have like inner linings or inner shorts inside which i really like and then i have my trusty pair of cycling shorts which i wore for the marathon they're new balance i honestly love them and then just taking one dress which is really useful to shove over like a bikini or a swimming costume it dries really quickly it's very light i have three t-shirts i have my black nonity i have this white t-shirt which is so old but it's really light and i kind of like it and then i just have my white baggy like oversized save the oceans tee from heiko heiko Hiker clothing. I love that brand as well. 
I just don't know how to pronounce the name. I have three workout t-shirts as well. So I have my orange Gymshark one, which matches the shorts. I have my yellow New Balance one. And then I also just have a black Nike one, which is a bit shorter and it's a bit more cropped than the other two. I then have three kind of like vest top tops. I have my like off the shoulder black cropped thing. I have a black and white vest top and then a crocheted halter neck, which I honestly love. I then have workout vest tops as well. So a plain black one and then a pink one. This blue thing is what's called like a rash vest. I thought this was so useful when scuba diving. Like I wore it under my wetsuit, say for example. And you can also just shove it over like your bikini or something. And finally, I have one sweatshirt, which is my avocado jumper. And I'll be traveling in that, but Obviously, you can stay tuned for the vlogs and I will talk you guys through what I'm wearing, what I'm doing when we leave. Pajama wise, I have two sets. I have one like really old pair. It's just like a random grey t-shirt and some random grey shorts. Grey on grey, 50 shades of grey, but it's fine. And then I'm taking my nicer pair, which is my Organic Basics matching pink set, which I really love. I'm not going to show you guys my underwear. Obviously, I'm taking knickers. I am then taking one bralette. I don't wear bras, so I just wear sports bras, but I think I'm taking six sports bras. I'm then taking trainer socks and then longer socks, which are like ankle socks. Seven pairs of trainer socks I've written down. I don't know if that's too many. I really wanted to channel minimalist vibes when packing this time. This is the tiniest packing cube as I showed you guys before and it has my swimwear in it. So I am taking one swimming costume and then I'm taking three bikinis. So my yellow one, my blue one and this black one. I don't think I have a picture of this one but it looks like this. It's like a gold embellished um, bikini. I'm gonna shove these in this packing cube, some goggles, black goggles. I'm not gonna put them on because they will ruin my hair but these are my goggles. I have sunglasses, which I'm taking with me. I wouldn't say these are like stylish sunglasses or in at the moment, but they're comfy. I'm not gonna buy new ones. I like them. But yeah, I have sunglasses. I then have my Nana cap, which I'm gonna take with me. I don't wanna ruin my curls, so I'm not putting the cap on properly, but you should definitely get yourself a Nana cap. If you want any Nana stuff or like a Nana cap, then the link will be down below. The Nana caps are just like plain black, but they have the Nana logo embroidered on the side. I then finally have a raincoat, which is just one you can pack away. It's like a pack a mac type thing. And then shoe wise, I'm taking two pairs of shoes. So I'm taking my New Balance Fresh Foams. So my black ones, they're just really comfy. I can use them to walk, to run, to do some hiking. And then after that, those trainers will have probably reached the end of their lifespan because trainers do have a lifespan. If you keep running in trainers and overusing them, then you're more prone to injuries is what I've realized. And then my other pair of shoes are a pair of flip-flops. So I ordered new ones because I don't have any flip-flops at the moment. And I got these ones from a brand called Waves. And yeah, this brand is like sustainable. They're made from like natural rubber. They are vegan. They just looked really good. The penultimate section then is electronics. Now I'm not gonna go through this in detail and like list every item because obviously this depends on you, like what you do. I would just say though, remember to take like charges with you, take something if you need to back up stuff. I would recommend taking like headphones Phones. I love my AirPods. Another thing is like a portable charger and make sure it's charged when you go to places. I maybe should move that to the non-essential but highly recommended section. It's so good to have a portable charger if your phone dies, for example, and again, you don't have anywhere to charge it. And the final section is just like random items or other items, miscellaneous that didn't really fit in any other category. The first thing is a dry bag. If you didn't know what a dry bag is, then it's essentially a bag. I have a blue one, but it keeps your stuff dry. And yeah, I realize it literally says what it does in the title. But anyway, it is really good for like scuba diving or snorkeling or if you go on boats and you're taking with you like electronics like your phone and it's really important to keep it dry. I have a carry more one. I don't know exactly what size it is. It does say large on it, but I will leave links to everything down below. As I said, there'll be lots of information in the description box. So definitely open that down below. I will take a couple of Hessian bags or like tote bags with me. And finally, I have scuba diving equipment because again, not everyone will need this stuff, but I do have a face mask, which I got in Australia when I got my paddy and 
the thing that sticks up i should really know what this is called <laughs> i then do have some paddy paperwork so this is my like log book and i do have a card which basically says i'm qualified to scuba dive so i think that is everything as i said it sounds like quite a lot when i list it out and i go through everything individually item by item but hopefully when i pack it all it won't be that much or at least it won't be as much as what i took to australia i mean i am going for like a third of the time but all i can say is just like stay tuned for the travel vlogs you'll see me packing everything and yeah i hope as i said at the start this video was useful i hope you enjoyed it definitely give it a thumbs up if you did comment down below subscribe if you're new and hit the bell so you know when i upload and as always i will speak to you very soon in another video bye we love um, that is way too high, Holly. Ah! <gasps> One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, one, two. Yes. This is my face halo makeup remover. Why have I packed this, Holly, if I'm not going to be taking any makeup? And all the details will be down below in the description box. Oh, hello. Ah! Oh my gosh, Holly, what is wrong with you?